What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. 2021 Upper Deck Goodwin Champions 4-box break number 8. First name, first letter just sold out. Uh, this is a 14-spot break. Everybody gets a random letter from the list below. Remember, only numbered cards, inserts, hits will ship, no base ships. Remember, non-human cards, examples like maps, coins, animals, vehicles, etc. will be randomized in one lot to one person in the break. Uh, and even if they're relic or numbered cards... Um, They'll still be given out in one lot, guys. And at least two hits per box, autographs, memorabilia patches, manufacturer patches, relics, etc., etc. Um, so here we go. Kevin down to David, and then A down to all other letters. I'm not sure, Giannis. Uh, if you want to check uh, Blowout Cards, their forum is pretty accurate. It's updated like daily. Uh, I assume soon. Maybe at the end of this month or May. Roll it. One and a three, four times. Good luck. One, two, three, and four. Four times, one, two, three, four. David, down to Michael Robinson. There you go, three, four. Three and a one, one, three, four, one, two, three, and four. M down to D. Yeah? It's good to know. There you go. Rex says April 27th. Will surpass Bobby Wood? Damn. Strong words right there. Alright, David with M. Lauren with L. Michael Robinson with A. Lauren with uh, P. Uh, Mike Tower with S. Ryan with J. David Callender with all of the letters. Martin with N. David Callender with R, Laurel with K, Kevin with C, David Callender with the VWZ combo, as well as T, and Michael Robinson with D. Yeah, Khalil Watson has been a big prospect in all the Leaf products. But he hasn't he hadn't signed any first yet, right? <sighs> Excuse me. Let me go get the boxes. I'm not sure. I had I, I don't really have a say in this because you know my team's not even in the playoffs anyways. They really suck, but I still love them. But I wouldn't mind seeing like you know Memphis make a deep run. I love John Moran. I love that team. Dylan Brooks, Pro Duck. Uh, but you know I could be Phoenix going all the way and winning it finally if they don't choke. Or uh, like I said, I, I think if if Brooklyn can get past Boston, I don't know, man. Brooklyn could be dangerous. But. I don't really have a uh, much really care for it. Warriors can win too, yeah. Warriors can be the winner too. I mean, as long as Steph comes back healthy, I mean, you got what? Steph, Clay, Poole, Draymond still there, Kaminga. They're pretty loaded too. But I, I mean, I don't really have a say in it too much. I don't really. Have too much to care for it as much, but yes, sir. I mean, a lot of my family members grew up liking USC, but I did, and I hated them for football, at least you know. But we'll see. UFC, USC always gets prospects, and they still haven't done nothing since, like, you know, maybe San Darno era. With like that Rose Bowl even before that. Not much either. But we'll see. I feel like they're always really overrated. For the amount of prospects and your USC, you should be winning. You should be getting all these players and doing well, but it just hasn't translated. So hopefully Lincoln Riley does turn around for you guys. They're always going to have a chance, man. 
They're always going to have a chance, Rex, but I just feel bad for the guy, man. He's just... He's like Mike Trout. <laughs> Except at least he goes to the playoffs, but he loses in the first round. But I don't know. I mean... I think my I think McDavid's already solidified himself, right? Even he's only been in the league for like four or five years, but as long as he can get a ring, that's all that really matters for him now. I mean, Lincoln Riley's good, but I mean, is he your best coach you've ever had in your program? I mean, let's just be honest. I mean, Lincoln Riley ran away from the SEC. Why do you think? <clears throat> All right, so I'm assuming no trades, right? Here we go. They might not, Giannis, but I don't think I don't I don't take offense to it. <laughs> don't be offended. It's okay. She's in this product, but I don't know if that was the card of hers right now. <laughs> yeah, we don't want to get political here, man. So we'll remove that for now. And let's just say Trump did not make this set either. Good luck. So remember these playing cards. We going out to uh, one person, one lot. No, no, I never said I was gonna remove you. I just said I'm gonna delete that comment because we don't need to get political in here on your opinions, on anybody's opinions. That's not what we're here for. So I just deleted that specific comment. Uh, Mike Mancius. Uh, that's going to letter M and David. Ansu Fati. Got that. And we got a red Colin Morikawa. This product can only get to makes you think of their price to think. I know. <laughs> I know, right, Rex? For real. This is fun, though. I mean, I, I love Goodwin. I love uh, Allen and Ginter, but I, I, I kind of like this. I kind of like this a little bit more than I like good, uh, Allen and Ginter. Uh, 
Uh, probably not Canada, but I mean, ooh, bee eater, bee eater, feathered creatures. I know somebody wants this bee eater. And Paige Sprat. Jesse Lockwood. Is this a real guy? Oh. I thought it looked like CGI. Sarah Pavum. Letter S with that one. Mm, Sarah Mike Tower. Little Gowdy Jordan. No, I have not, but I probably will go see that movie. Does it look good? I don't think I've seen it. I heard about it, though. I'm going to go see uh, Fantastic Beasts on, on Monday. Pretty excited for that. I loved Harry Potter growing up, so I like when they created Fantastic Beasts. I really did like the remakes of the Jurassic Park, Jurassic World, like kind of, kind of uh, movies though. I really, really love. Love those ones. I think they're bringing back the original cast, right? Basically. Thought I, I thought I might have seen it actually. They literally bring back the three main people in the cast. They're bringing back what's his name? The uh... I don't know why I don't know why his name is blanking me right now. But he was the fly. What's his name again? Apartments.com guy. <laughs> he actually kind of came out of it in the second movie, I think. Anyways. He was like speaking in front of every, of some people, like at the end, talking about like, you know, life will evolve or whatever. Whoa! What is this? Steven Carpenter? Is this guy a guitarist? I have no idea what this is though. 23, 27 out of 35. I'm, uh, educate me, Rex. You must know. What up, Ray? I know they have. No, I have not. Steven's letter asked Mike Tower. Oh, Jeff Goldblum. That's right. That's right. <laughs> that's his name. Wayne Gretzky. Down for the count. What did you have tonight, Ray?
was that the Deftones guitars? I, I mean, I love the Deftones. I, I listened to a lot when I was a kid because of my brother, but I don't. I don't really know the the band members. It's awesome. Um, I don't think so. Flood, it's it'll be um anything that's not base. So basically, if it's a base Jordan, I don't think it's shipping. And I, don't quote me, but I, I believe that's the way it just says in the item description. So any other Jordan, though, insert number card, um, you know, anything like that will. But I don't think so, since it says no base card ship. Oh, you do have to look up? Yeah. <laughs> I have another bird. A few dark and stars that bring in a drink with. Ooh. That's right. Do you love clown chowder out there? I don't know. I don't know why I'm asking you if that's like an even a real question for you, but. And is the clown chowder really that good over there? Like. I mean, like, I think the clown chowder at like Disneyland is great. I don't know if they import it, but like, it's great. That's kind of like the best clown chowder I've ever had. So it's like, do I really like need to go out there and try it? You know? That's what I'm saying. And we got Red Legged Partridge. And that's a high number too, so that might be actually more shorter for it. Nice Jalen Green. Letter J, Ryan Queso. And Mojave King, letter M, David O. Actually, you know what? I, I'm, I'm lying. I've had Clam Chowder in San Francisco. I'm lying. That one was really good too, actually. And whoa, we got an ostrich. Wow, that's so sick right there. 61. Oh, I know you guys want this ostrich. That's a big bird. Big feathered creature. I actually was right next to an ostrich one time. One of my buddies, one of my, my like uh, elementary friends, like it's, his dad had like a little like animal farm like near the riverbed where I grew up. And I had a bunch of animals and they did have an ostrich one time. It's crazy. And Darius Garland. Letter D, Michael Robinson. Jordan, so like that Jordan definitely will be shipping, you know? And basically like Gaudis, and whoa, there we go. That's a really nice intro right there. Melissa, Humana Paradez. Number 299. Letter M, David O, there you go. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't in the area where they were at, but, I mean, you know, I was, like, there. <laughs> I would never want to be loose with one of those. Seafood's a whole different ballgame? I know, right? I mean, I love, like, seafood out here. I mean, I, I think we have great seafood, too, but I don't think, like, here in Southern California is more known for, like, clam chowder and stuff like that, you know? You know, lobster and stuff. But I love like, you know, especially when I go to Mexico, I love seafood in Mexico, all the beach places there. So good. But I like seafood more like the way like traditional like Mexican food is like, you know, like agua chile, ceviche, all that stuff. Just drenched with a shit ton of lemon. Some chile serranos in there. 
But yeah, no, no, I definitely would love to try that for show. Oh yeah, that's right. The, <laughs> the oh world map, Panama City, Panama, world travelers map. Um, isn't that where like the car is impounded at that dude's like facility, and it's like he has an ostrich? <laughs> Man, dude, look at my car. You probably got some memories, right? I haven't seen that movie in so long. I love seafood, but I don't, I've never like, okay, like, okay, what's definition of anything seafood, right? Like, I eat sushi, but I don't go crazy sushi when it comes to that. Uh, seafood wise, like, I, you know, I've eaten an octopus. You know, I get like this mixed up at this one place, so like they put octopus, you know, shrimp, fish. Um, but like I said, I, I eat more of the traditional, like, like Mexican type of seafood, if anything, that's what I'm saying. But, like I said, I love me some lobster crumb chowder like that, too. Yeah, lobster, I'm sure it's completely different out there. I mean, I've seen Shark Tank. <laughs> it had, like, a, a, a skit or one of the episodes was about that, that lunch truck. Definitely wanted to try it, though. But, yeah, no. For sure, lobster, I know you guys in clam chowder for sure is crazy out there. Bye. And Nice Guy Brown, number to 23. That's also a very nice parallel short print. Alright, these should have all the hits, guys. And Ken Gushy. Win a letter K. Laura. Lexi Thompson. Bayron Laura. You did not, Rex, but which one is it? Maybe I've already seen it. Is it on Netflix? You should watch Taco Chronicles. That came out a few years back during the pandemic. Taco Chronicles is a great show, too. Echinamos unos tacos. All right, guys. Well, there you go. Very nice stuff here. So this will all be top loaded for you guys, giving out. And then, like I said, we ended up getting a couple autographs here, a couple maps, birds. There you go. Well, yeah, Taco Bell is like the Americanized taco for sure. In hard show, no, that <laughs> watch Taco Chronicles. They actually, if I remember for that one too, they actually talked about the. The American taco, and yeah, it's totally different. That's not how it is at all. It's so different. Um, but here you go, guys. Let's uh, switch scenes and see. Let's give away that. Uh, this right here. So again, the all the non sorry the uh, non human cards like the uh, birds and the maps etc. will be given out to one person, guys. Roll dice, five and a two, seven times. Good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Boom, Kevin. Boom, congratulations, man. You're going to get the non-human stuff.
Appreciate it, guys. JaspiesKatesRace.com.